Out of sorrow from here to halfway around the world to Israel, seven members of one Orthodox Jewish family killed over the weekend in a fierce fire in their home. A fire started in their kitchen as the mother warmed food on a hot plate in keeping with the Jewish Sabbath. One smoke detector only in the basement. They didn't have a chance. Here's Eyewitness News reporter N.J. Burkett. The caskets arrived on Israeli soil early this morning after an overnight flight from New York. Seven plain wooden coffins for seven children, the youngest just five years old. This is a picture of some of the children with their mother and grandmother. <laughs> At the funeral, Gabriel Sassoon was so distraught, so overcome with grief, he could barely speak. Still wearing the same clothes he wore yesterday, and amid the cries of his extended Israeli family, he compared his loss to the ritual sacrifice described in the Talmud, pleading with God in Hebrew, saying, I sacrificed everything. In front of you are seven sacrificial lambs, he said. The children died this weekend, trapped on the upper floors when a hot plate shorted out and set their kitchen on fire. Their mother and an eighth child survived the fire by jumping out a window when they were unable to reach the others. Their father was out of town at an Orthodox religious retreat when the fire broke out. The children, three girls and four boys, were buried in a hilltop cemetery overlooking the ancient city of Jerusalem, the city where they were born and hoped someday to return. More than 48 hours later, friends and neighbors in Brooklyn are still struggling to comprehend the loss. We can only hope for the best and just move forward from here on and, you know, pray that God is watching our beautiful little angels. <laughs> A day of profound sadness for one family on two continents. The mother and surviving daughter remain hospitalized tonight in critical condition, still suffering with extreme smoke inhalation. In Midwood, Brooklyn, NJ Burke at Channel 7 Eyewitness News.